Welcome back to Cleveland on the Rocks. Hello, I'm Brim Bar. And I'm Matt. That's Jay. That's Steve. Steve was just down in Michigan and he was like, you know what? It's time for a new private select Maker's Mark. Welcome back guys. So we got our bottle here, which is the private select bottle from Maker's Mark that's from one of my favorite liquor stores in Michigan. This is from Wine Palace, which if you look at it from the inside is a lot different than looking at it on the outside. So I sent Steve up here, I'm like, this is my favorite store, you should go hit this place dude, it's awesome. And he come back with this and I'm like, yes. So from, what, from my knowledge, I know that they've done two picks with Maker's Mark, and the first one was Cherry Cola. And a second one is Not Your Father's Makers. Looks just like this. The state profile is two of the baked American puree, two of the seared French cuvee, zero Makers 46 days, which we all know is where my thumbs up goes. And you have a four roasted French mendant, which I'm saying these probably really wrong. And then two toasted French spice. This is bottle 169 out of 246 bottles that came from their one barrel they picked from down there. So, if anybody knows anything from Wine Palace, they do some amazing picks. They got all kinds of picks from all kinds of different companies down mm -hmm. there. Because I know you're probably like, kid in the candy store going down here looking oh, through yeah, this yeah. and like, dude, this yeah, is Yeah, I tried good. a couple. Right. Came back with extra. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it always works. Because I'm like, you should try this. Oh, you like this? Try this one. And they're very good at the they know where your flavor profile is, and they're like, you should try this and this, and I'm telling you, that that's my place. You ever get yeah. down to Michigan, go down to Wine Palace, tell them Matt sent you. They know me down there. They're awesome people. So, let's crack this baby open. Pretty good. a nice pop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. So, and as we all know, this is a Monday, so Maker's Monday. Super cool type stuff like that. I wish we could have a different bottle of Maker's every Monday. I feel like that'd be killer. We can't. You know? We, we probably could. Models. Well, they got a thousand and one combinations of flavors. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like... 52 weeks in a year. 52, 52 weeks. 52 Mondays. Dude, that's like years and years Which of years bottles. Of drinking. <laughs> that's a lot, but they're Dude, they're not cheap bottles though either, either. cuz even down there, how much did the single barrel cost you down there? Was it 75, 79? Yeah, I think it's close to 80. Yeah. I was saying, because I, I, if I remembered, I was like, yeah, either 75 or 70. So it's probably 79.99, I would assume. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, I'll tell you what, though, you can never go wrong with their picks down there, man. These guys are like ridiculous with their picks. A little strong on the nose. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, you got a little ethanol kick you there. Hmm. Yeah, a little stronger than I was expecting. It is. What's the proof right here? Uh, and then 110. 110.8. I love when Maker does these private selects because they always have a just a little different flavor to it. And you're like, these are just amazing. And I love Makers to begin with, so this is right where I like to be at. So basically, I smell you get almost like a popcorn, like a buttered popcorn on you. you smell BP. BP. That's all I smell. Oh Jesus. <laughs> no, I get like a like a, a buttered popcorn like you're at a movie theater. No. None of you guys get yeah. this? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting more ethanol on this one. Yeah. It is. It's pretty hot, but you got to pull through that. You got to pull through and see what you get at the yeah, back end. Yeah, try man. Maybe after a taste, I'll smell something different. It'll be in my... I swear, I smell popcorn. Or BEP? Uh, oh. <laughs> no. Petroleum. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <It's pretty laughs> yeah. Ethanol. Pretty all ethanol, ethanol all day. No, but this one, it does smell very, very hot. Yeah. Snoko has racing fuel, right? It might be Snoko. Marathon has that super blue. It could be Marathon in there. Mm -hmm. Right. It's uh, but the legs aren't real crazy. I mean, they're good, but they're not real crazy. Well, yeah, this wait one. A I take it back. Look at that. I'll tell you what. It coats the top of the glass, but yeah. it, oh, there it does. It runs yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. They're barely running though. They're heavy. Yeah, this one's it's gonna be a little roll. thicker. You know what? I feel like this one. Some of the ones you can kind of tell that you think they're more aged than they are, but if you have know anything about makers, unless it's a seller age or something, it's not really aged longer than anything else. But the thing is, when they do take these out and they age them in their uh, limestone caves, I feel like it affects them different with the different woods that's in there. Hmm. I feel like some of them make it taste like it's more aged and other ones make it taste like it's younger. Not that it's ever going to be younger because it's always the same age, but 
I think it does affect the flavor profile to the point to where you think it's different than it is. That makes sense. It just smells I don't like know why I hot. smell butter popcorn on this. And I'm, I'm, I'm sticking popcorn. with exactly what I said Let's in the beginning. Try and see. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Oh. Cheers, guys. Oh, I was right. It's a little warm. I don't know, man. But nothing going down. No, it clears out by the end of your throat. Yeah, yeah. just right there in your mouth, and then it just... It does have a warmth, though. Yeah. It does give you a warm sensation all the way down. This is really I good. am getting, though, uh, lots of pepper. Pepper? Huh. To be honest with you, this one tastes like almost half as thick as like a syrup. It's more thicker than a normal whiskey that you drink. Or Maybe the next one I'll know, because I think that one numbed my tongue. Did it? <laughs> I don't get the popcorn taste that I was expecting to go off the scent that I got here. This is really good though. Mm -hmm. How do you think this would compare to the, did you, you tried the, you had the, the cherry cola one with us. Yes, I did. Would you say that this one was equivalent to the cherry cola one or do you think it's, this one is not as good as I think we're going cherry cola over this one. I think I would too. I don't think this is a bad pick by any stretch of the means. I think the name on the label is really, really cool and I feel like that their pick is a solid pick. This would be a good one that you could put in your glass. I feel like this would be good with a medium cigar, like a very light rolled cigar. Um, and I think this would accent it very, very well sitting in the backyard. But it's not hot by any stretch. Like, it's so weird. I was expecting this to be super hot yeah, because of how... it's stronger than... Yeah. Right? I was expecting it to be super warm and take my breath away where I couldn't talk through this and be like, ooh. Yeah, it's definitely not. This is just... It's just easy and a, it's a nice sipper to go with a very nice cigar. And a lot of maker stuff doesn't really go with cigars very well. No. It's just not, no, it's too sweet for it. Like, you want something that's a little deeper, a little smoky in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, a Joseph Magnus would go well with it. Even the, the black bottle would go well with the cigar. Makers, usually, I don't take with a cigar. Now, they do make makers dip cigars that do go well with makers bottles. <laughs> I get that. I have them here. They're very good. And I, I'd love to drink makers with them. But this one... I don't know. It's not overly sweet, and I can't even put a flavor profile on this I, to tell you what this tastes pull, like. I can't pull a flavor out of it, yeah. I'm, I'm right with it's, you. Uh, Do you pull anything from the flavor profile on this one that you can tell people that this one tastes I like? Just, just pepper I feel like, for me. Yeah, a little pepper, maybe some light vanilla and oak, but not overbearing, just real subtle. Mm -hmm. It'd be like your, your, normal, makers, your mm -hmm. normal maker's flavors on this one. But I, I'll tell you what. It's enhanced with the, the fact that it has that ethanol that pulls through it, and it does that that proof pulls through it too. So if you're a 90 proof guy drinking this one, it's gonna be a little little warmer than the other one. The flavor profile is not gonna kick through as much. So I testify to that. Right. Yep. I, I knew I knew where you were at. I'm like yeah. I can speak for Jay on this one. I know it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure he has a point to say I mean, whatever it feels it's like. Good. On this. this would be a bottle I I wouldn't as enjoy as much as. Like Joseph Magnus. I mean, that's... Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. That is my top bottle of last year that I, yeah. that I picked up, so... I mean, it's, it, it's, it's still it's, really good. It is. Okay, so the second flavor, if you roll it under your tongue, then you come up, it almost has the taste of a... I would give it like a... What the hell are those little muffins? So like those corn muffins that have like the... If you take brown sugar, cinnamon, and mix it with butter on top, and then you coat it, I feel like I get more like a brown sugar easiness on it where it's sweet. Does your second taste taste like this? Roll your tongue around it on your second taste and get it, and you'll get a sweetness <laughs> I'm not in here any, where it's anything easy. sweet. My tongue is yeah. different. My tongue no? numb. Is it? Yeah. Well, good thing you didn't have Frey Ranch yet, because I'll tell you what, that would have put everything on That's every next. video here. That's uh. That should be our finishing video because honestly, <laughs> it's nothing you want. I don't want. As crazy as it is, I mean, as as much as I'm not pulling anything from it. I, I'm, I'm not saying that it's bad at all. Uh, it, it's good. It's just real peppery to me. This would probably be... Alright, not saying this in a negative way, but this would probably be my least favorite store pick from there that I've had. To be honest. It, there's just nothing, no flavor to pull through it that I can right. say, hey, this is prominently this. And hey, if you like this, you'll like this. I don't know how to say that here because I don't know... It's pretty basic. It is. It's mm -hmm. got that normal brown sugar taste that you're used to. It has that cinnamon on it. After the second or third taste, then you get that. Because that first one, you don't. It's mm -hmm. just warmth, and it's just your body's 
toasted and you're like, yo, open a door. It's kind of warm in here. You come in from a cold day. Really you come in from a cold day and you want to warm up. Absolutely, just pop out. Yeah, get you some of that. And, right. Yeah. Fix it right up. Or but, if I mean, you, if you're honestly, one of those this doesn't this doesn't disappoint either, though. No, it's not, not like something where you're like, I don't think I'd ever buy this again. I probably actually would buy this again, and I would mix this in with all kinds of stuff and make this here. You just don't get all mm -hmm. them flavors. Exactly. Out. Not as complex as some other ones. That's right. I will. I would definitely agree with you here. Yeah. So, this bottle costs eighty bucks. It's down at the Wine Palace down in uh, Livonia, Michigan, which is one of my favorite stores to go through. And I send everyone I know down there. Go try this place. It's awesome. So, I love you guys down there, man. You guys are awesome people. So, keep up them cool pics that you guys got going on down there because I know you'll see me here in the next couple months. And uh, hope you guys are staying warm up there in Michigan because I know it's got to be freezing cold out there. So, make sure if you guys are out there drinking. And you're doing your thing with your buddies make sure you're not drinking and driving do that thing get home safe people love you make sure you like share subscribe on instagram youtube facebook TikTok. we'll see you guys next time get you a shirt